Our previous data buoys have only measured in the surface, so this new data buoy is a real step change in the sense that we have an autonomous profiling capability. So inside the tower here we have a winch, which is um, ideally it's a user controlled winch. It allows us to speed up, slow down, stop at various positions, whatever depth we want to go, and it profiles a, a very sophisticated package of scientific sensors through the water column. So importantly now with this new data buoy, we are getting full resolution through the water column of our scientific data, which is real key to our understanding of the dynamic ecosystems of the Western Channel Observatory, enabling our um, ecosystem modeling to be validated and developed our understanding of this environment. So it's really key change Hourly measurements of water column properties is a phenomenal step change for this data buoy. So this buoy has a huge amount of power supply. We have over a thousand ampere hours of batteries here, charged through 800 watts of solar power, a thousand watts of wind turbines, and also the buoy is on a high speed IP mesh network. And those two combine to give us a really state of the art platform to allow SMEs through the Marine Business Technology Center to use this platform free of charge to develop the latest marine technologies. So we can put on that equipment, we've got high power. Also the bandwidth through the communications allows organizations as well as ourselves to communicate live from our desks into those sensors, tracking the performance, making the tweaks, seeing how they're performing. Hi, my name's John Caskey. I'm the Managing Director of Hydrosphere UK Limited, uh, and we were absolutely delighted when we won the tender to supply James and the team here at PML with this Mobilis DB14000 EOL data boy. Uh, it's the first of its kind to come into the UK, and really it's the first of its kind in the world because it's a development uh, of a previous model. It's an absolutely amazing and unique data buoy. Um, it has got large solar array and two, so and two wind turbines on it. Uh, the power supply is in fact split into two, one for the onboard electronics controlling the profiling winch and the second supply to control any uh, PML sensors and third party sensors being used as part of the smart sound project. Uh, it's a 3.6 metre diameter hull made from polyethylene floats. In fact, the whole buoy is completely recyclable. There's no foam on it, uh, so everything can be changed over quickly and easily because of its modular construction. Uh, we wish James and his team every success with the buoy uh, and can't wait to see it in the water. This platform is a phenomenal piece of equipment and it's been fantastic to work with Mobilis and Hydrosphere UK in the design and development of this platform for several years now. So today having it here at Plymouth Marine Laboratory is a real significant moment for us. It gives us the opportunity now over several months to work on installing our own platforms, our own um, instrumentation, our own electronics and getting this ready, tested, trialled for deployment offshore of Plymouth at the L4 station in March of next year where we hope to get a full seasonal cycle through the science and also integrating in over the winter period third-party SME equipment ready for deployment in March.